Welcome to this short video on selecting the correct size of circuit breaker and cable for electrical circuits. Here at Learn Electrics we cannot stress enough the importance of making the correct choices for safety and function. So let's begin. We are sometimes asked why it is important to make the correct choices. Well, there are two basic reasons. The circuit breaker must be the right size to carry the load but not so big that it never trips. And the cable must be able to carry safely any overload current until the breaker operates. This principle is shown in the equation on this page and we will explain this to you just now. The equation tells us that IB must be equal to or less than IN and that IN must be equal to or less than IZ. You can see below the equation just what these symbols mean. The design current, that is to say what the appliance is manufactured to take, must be equal to or less than the size of the circuit breaker. If not, the breaker would trip every time the appliance was switched on. The cable rating must be greater than the breaker size as it must safely carry the excess fault current long enough for the breaker to operate. And we will explain that sequence to you now. It is important that we always follow the same correct order of selection of parts. The first step is to calculate the design current or load. We need to know what the manufacturer of the appliance has made it do. When it is switched on, how many amps of current will it draw? It is called the design current, because that is what it has been designed to do. I think of IB as B for build current. What has it been built to do? Next, we will select a fuse or circuit breaker that will take at least that amount of current. Any smaller and the breaker will continually nuisance trip. But neither must the breaker be of such a great size that, that it will never operate. It should be the same as or just above the maximum design current. The breaker size uses the symbol IN for nominal current rating. Think of it as the N for the number printed on the breaker. A 32 amp breaker has an IN of 32 amps. And now we can determine the size of cable to install by looking at a set of standard tables. We use the symbol IZ for cable rating. If we know how much current is to flow through the cable, the tables will tell us the cable size to select. Too small a cable and the cable may be damaged or even catch fire. Too big a cable and the customer, or you, are paying for extra copper that you do not need. So, let's put this into practice. For this next bit, you will need a calculator and a copy of the on-site guide to the 18th edition. At Learn Electrics, we have found that if you attempt this procedure yourself, then you will learn and understand a lot more. Practice really does make perfect. The formula to use is very simple. Take the appliance rating in watts and divide it by 230 volts to give us the design current or IB. 230 volts is the nominal voltage rating for the UK. And yes, I know it is actually 240 volts when we measure it, but we use 230 volts for all our calculations. If the appliance rating is shown as kilowatts, or KW, as it often is, this just means thousands of watts. Take the KW figure and multiply it by 1000 before dividing it by 230 volts. Let us do the same calculation both ways. Let's have an electric kettle. First, say our rating plate indicated 2300 watts, divide by 230 and we have a design current of 10 amps. Second, if the rating plate said 2.3 kilowatts, 
multiply 2.3 by 1000 to get 2300, now divide by 230 and again we get 10 amps, the same answer as above. Let us now work through an example in steps as you would do in practice. Let us say we have been asked to install a shower in a house. We know the size of shower is 7 kilowatts or 7000 watts. We also know that the cable is flat twin an earth and it's being installed as a radial circuit. And we will be laying cable above the ceiling where it will be in contact with 100 millimeters of loft insulation. So the installation method will be reference method 100. We know that there is a 30 milliamp RCD already installed in the consumer unit. We need to calculate the design or load current. Then we will need to decide the size of breaker to use. We will use a standard BSEN 60898 breaker type B. Having done that, we can select the correct size cable from the appropriate tables. Then we need to determine the maximum length of cable run for our cable to ensure that we do not exceed this maximum length. Why worry about the length? If it is less than the maximum permitted length, then we know that we will not have a voltage drop problem in the cable at full load. There will be sufficient voltage at the point of use to run the shower properly and safely. OK. First, we will calculate IB, the design current. At Learn Electrics, we try to encourage people to make a small chart on the right of the page and they will fill in this chart with all the information they have as they come across it. So, to start with, we know that the load is 7 kilowatts. Put this in the chart. 7 kilowatts is the same as 7000 watts. And dividing 7000 by 230 volts will give us 30.43 amps. This is the design current. Put that in the chart. We will need this number later. Now, turn to page 64 in the on-site guide, part 7. This list shows the different types and sizes of fuses and breakers for different types of circuits. Starting with ring circuits at the top, then lighting circuits, it moves on to radial circuits. Towards the bottom, for radial circuits, we will find a BSEN 60898 breaker that is equal to or greater than 30.43 amps. In this case, a 32 amp breaker. We can fill this in on our chart now, 32 amps. And we can fill in twin and earth cable and reference method 100 since we already have that information. Now turn to page 72 to select the correct cable size. There are two entries for 32 amp breakers, but looking at the fourth column, there is only one that matches up with the reference method 100, so choose the second entry. Check the details. 32 amp circuit breaker type B, reference method 100, all shown in red here. This tells us that the cable should be 6 millimetres with a 2.5 millimetre earth shown in a yellow circle on this page. Now, assuming our earthing system is TNCS, the second column from the right tells us the maximum length of cable run to not have a voltage drop problem. In this case, 63 metres, again circled in yellow. And finally, we can go to page 74 and check the maximum current rating or IZ for our 6mm cable. We can see from this table that with reference method 100 and a cable size of 6mm, the maximum current rating is 34 amps. This is the last entry on our chart, IZ equals 34 amps. And now we have all the information for our shower. A 7 kilowatt shower will draw 30.43 amps. 
we will use a 32 amp breaker. The cable will take 34 amps and must not exceed 63 meters in length. A quick double check that we have done everything correctly by putting numbers into I, B, I, N and I, Z. 30.43 is less than 32 and 32 is less than 34. Everything is correct, the job is okay. So, a recap then. First, calculate IB, the design current. Second, decide on the size of breaker for IN. And finally, select a cable size to give us IZ. Learn to use this very easy formula, IB equals watts divided by 230. And all the other information you need will be in part 7 of the on-site guide. Well, that is it for another Learn Electrics video. We hope that you have enjoyed watching this YouTube video and that you have added some more knowledge to your mental toolbox. If you click on the Save button, you can review this video, or better still, click on Subscribe and you will have access to all our other Tech Tips videos on electrical topics. You can also type in Learn Electrics, or one word, into the search bar on YouTube to bring up all our videos. A new one is published every Monday. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.